Hello, thank you for joining me today. Many of you may know me as Happy Computer Guy here on YouTube, um, but at work I am known as Eric Moore. I am a consulting leader at IBM who specializes in artificial intelligence and DevOps. And that is what I'll be talking about today and how we are using AI to move beyond DevOps. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking in light of MuleSoft and AWS. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is building on a previous video I did about DevSecOps, and that's the expertise we're applying to MuleSoft runtime fabric on AWS EKS. So the first thing we're talking about here is using an agile backlog approach with requirements from sustainment, enhancement requirements, and stakeholder points of view, okay? Those are going into a JIRA. You're seeing this hybrid backlog of requirements going to your SMEs. Those are developers, those are security SMEs, operations engineers, et cetera. And they're producing infrastructure as code, configurations. And thanks to the use of runtime fabric, they're able to um, deploy Terraform, for instance, for the infrastructure. So all of that's going into a source code repository repository to a, like a GitHub, and we have a quality engineering automated test definition design competency there that's augmenting the squads who are writing this content. All of that content is available via a developer portal, and we're pushing these configurations, these test cases that came from the quality engineering team, very important, right, in case we're doing test-driven development, which I tend to really think is, is a great place to start with your MuleSoft applications. And then test data, which is very important because at this point we want our MuleSoft applications, APIs, et cetera, to meet up with deployed applications in an integrated test environment um, on top of EKS. So that might be applications in other environments um, outside of EKS but they all need a unified set of test data. So that's something we focus on when we're enabling this end-to-end -end agentic continuous improvement model. Now, as we perform the test, the test results are routed back into a Panopticon, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit, but then we push it over into um, the security and integration test results are fed back into our SMEs. And that closes our test-driven development cycle. So a lot of actions, a lot of improvements are gonna happen right here. I deploy the test, I see a result come back, I redeploy, right? As we get past test, we're passing all our security operations tests, we're gonna get past that production gate, go into staging, and that's where we're pushing configurations. Very important that we're tracking those configurations as code. Um, in this case, right? Terraform for our infrastructure as code, and then our Kubernetes deployments themselves, right, out of ECR, uh, referencing ECR, using Harness or something like that, into EKS, and that's where, again, we have our runtime fabric running, so that's how we're able to deploy these MuleSoft applications. And we're meeting up with our deployed applications with the live production data and generating from their traces, logs, and metrics. Now, this is one of the places beyond just this entire architecture that IBM Consulting brings in content. In this case, we bring in a connector that allows us to take from runtime fabric all of those traces and bring those in to the first kind of layer here, which is CloudWatch. We're using X-Ray. We use a lot of different services for the data. From that, we're generating machine learning driven insights. So that's using DevOps Guru, um, Security Lab, we're bringing that into SSM Ops Center. And then we're taking actions on that based out of an ITSM, it could be ServiceNow. Um, and we add a component, uh, an agentic component here. Now, we completed our SecOps cycle. So now we're getting back results from production, those traces, logs, and metrics, and those insights from our insight services, our machine learning, cloud-native insight services. 
And those are driving back all kinds of different insights that need to be acted upon. Um, and finally, we have our governance cycle. So these are larger term insights, longer term insights, process improvements, financial improvement, things like that, that are larger than you know, a single sprint and need to be evaluated against the full back. So this gives you an idea of how we are looking at treating MuleSoft content um, as a first-class citizen in a DevOps lifecycle, thanks to the abilities of um, the runtime fabric on AWS EKS to kind of close those gaps in terms of the lifecycle management. Now, when we talk about the agentics, right, this Autogen multi-agent service, and you can see a lot of videos about this on my YouTube channel, um, you know, allows us, and this is just an example agent team, okay, starting from the left, we've got a human robot in the loop selection. We always start with human loop, of course, you know, making sure that everything's kosher with what the team's doing and building up that experience, um, providing that human feedback. We have a chat manager. Um, that chat manager is interacting with this agent team and selecting which is going to be the next speaker. Um, in this case, we have agent one who has CloudWatch access, for instance, agent two who has uh, GitHub access, and agent three who has ServiceNow access. And the three collaborating are able to solve far more complex problems than what any one agent can do alone. We build these agent teams for all kinds of different use cases. So we would insert one, for instance, in the test-driven development cycle there in the bottom left corner to be able to help write these test cases and uh, evaluate the results of the test cases and propose enhancements or improvement to um, be able to pass those test cases successfully. The second team would be in our SecOps cycle, taking a look at those traces, logs, and metrics and the insights we're generating from them out of staging and production and driving back in those insights as actions via Autogen to say, hey, this is an incident that we might want to take a look at. This is an insight we need to act upon. And finally, an agent team who acts as a backlog grooming team. So they're constantly evaluating those higher level items that would possibly go into, for those of you who work with larger enterprises, a safe type scenario, scaled agile framework for enterprise. They would evaluate all of that and protect and add ROI, right, for instance. So that's what this agent team does. And the combination of these three agent teams is what um, I'm calling cont agentic continuous improvement. So I just wanted to share some of what we're doing at um, IBM with our partners, I, um, AWS and Salesforce, um, who owns MuleSoft. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, please reach out. Uh, my email is emore at ibm.com um, if you're interested in learning more. Thank you. Bye-bye.